What up, man? It's your boy, Sissy Sissy. You already know I ain't gotta do all that. Hey, yo, check. This is a real, real life blog. I'm gonna start doing these joints. This is the first one. I'm gonna let you into my life, all right? So, um, one of the one of the key things into uh, saving money and learning how to uh, not use your security blanket every time you're in you're in need or in, in a struggle. All right, listen carefully. This is my first time ever living on my own, like, for real. I always lived with people this, uh, my whole life. It's always what, it, with a family member, a cousin, maybe a friend, right? So I always live with somebody. This is the first time, right? And, you know, a lot a lot of people, they're like, damn, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I can do it by myself. It's a lot of people, that's why they never move by themselves, because they're afraid of failure, and they're afraid to, uh, you know, to struggle and not, and they have to, um, you know, um, live with that guilt. Like, oh, I didn't, I was, I wasn't able to do it on my own. Oh my God, I'm a failure. So a lot of people deal with those type of things. So they, ne you always see them. Always, they always need to be, and uh, they always have to live with someone. They never lived on their own. They never because they can't, they can't, they can't do it. Well, not not that not that they can't do it. They just never put it in their psyche. Like, yo, I can do this. Let me watch this. So, um, one of the main things I do since I have finally moved on my own is I always uh, revert back to um, when you when you was in when you was growing up and you was in that. Super poverty, you know, there's poverty, then there's poverty, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you can't eat for a couple of days, you ain't got nothing to eat, and then, you know, you're like, oh, we're just living check to check type of poverty. So, I tap into that. So, I've been through that before, like, oh, damn, I got to struggle to the next paycheck, or we got to wait till mom or dad get paid again, so we only have to eat sandwiches, or only eat noodles, or only eat this. Like, you got to learn how to tap into the things you have been through. So you can get through what you're going through at, at the moment. That's how you don't have to... Like right now, I can I get paid next Friday. Now I can easily borrow some money. I can easily do that. Right? I can easily just go and probably go get a loan or something. But why do that? Tap into, oh man, I can make it to next Friday. I just go buy that to eat. I can eat this at work, I buy this to drink, and I'll just let my last little dollar stretch until I get paid again. That not only helps you get ready for the biggest, the big storms that's coming ahead, but it builds character. Now you can say, you know what? I ain't tripping off that. I, I can uh I can stretch this out. Next thing you know, you're not even asking for help no more because you're able to weather the storm. Not saying that. You can't ask for help. Of course you can. But you need to learn how to not always enable yourself. Okay? You got people that enable you, and then you enable yourself because you always, hey, man, help me out of this situation. Help me out of this. Nah, man, learn how to walk that, walk those three blocks instead of waiting for a ride. Learn how to, um, you know, get up an hour earlier so you can uh, take the bus or something instead of always asking for a ride. Or asking for, you know, loan loan me this, loan me that. Learn how to go through the struggles, man. It builds character and it helps you for other struggles ahead. Okay? So right now is my first time ever living on my own. Like, if I don't eat, it's me. You know what I'm saying? The, the bills don't get paid. It's all me. I, it's, it's nobody else. When you live with other people, you can kind of lean on other people to, to cover you. I'm not saying on your own you can't ask people to help, but it's a little different. Alright, so that's how I'm able to still survive on my own because, you know, I tap into that, that thing, that, uh, <laughs> that poverty that I used to be in. I'm like, oh, I can just make it to the next payday. Learn how to stretch, learn how to go through the storm. You don't always have to ask for help or ask, can you help me, please? I don't know what I'm going to do. No, because it helps you in the long run, alright? That's that morning motivation for your ass this morning. Alright, a lot of y'all need to learn how to weather the storm. 
and stop asking for help all the time. Every time you, you get in a little uh, mishap or you get in a little situation, you're looking for the first person to help you out. Learn how to weather the storm, man. All right? Learn that. That'll help you longer down the road. Maybe a lot of things start to open up for you because you don't really need that much help. You think you need help, but you don't. Every now and then, it's cool. But a lot of stuff that a lot of stuff that people be crying and, and, and reaching out help for it, you can get through it. You can get through it. You can get through it. You just have to want to and just go through it. All right? It's not bad as you seem. It's not bad as it seems that you have to uh, do a lot of things on your own. You can do it, man. It's all right. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do this on your own. Don't let nobody tell you that. All right? It's okay to have people there and when you need them there. It's okay. But do not, do not for one second think that you always have to, oh, please help me, please help me, please help me. You don't learn how to weather the storm, man. Once you do that, whoo, you will see that a lot of things that you thought that you couldn't get through is a breeze. That's how I'm able to make it on my own right now. I'm, I can easily call for some help. Easily. I got people on standby that will send me some money right now. But why I do that? When I got to learn how to weather the storm. Learn how to um, survive in environments that you're, you're unfamiliar in. That way when you do go through some things, it's a breeze. Alright? So that's one of the things that y'all didn't know about Suicide Age 29. It's my first time ever not living with nobody. That way I can lean on, you know what I'm saying? So this is how I'm able to still continue without asking somebody to help me. No, I haven't asked for no help yet. No help yet. None. You know why? Because I learned how to weather the storm. I tap into that poverty that I had when I was growing up. Oh, man, money can eat sandwiches for two weeks. Oh, we only got to eat this for two weeks. You know, eat this from working it on. I can eat this when I get home. Learn how to stretch, weather the storm, man. We all can do it. Not saying, you know, don't. People can enable you and you can enable yourself. All right? So stop enabling yourself. Learn how to weather the storm. It's your boy, Suicide H29, man. Talk to your soul, soul mirror, the balance keeper. No one safe. Poking the people. Sisterhood. Silverback gang. Anti bully gang. All right? Lee loved the ladies. Lady loves Lee, and ladies, you are definitely love Lee. Don't chase the light. Let the light chase you. I'm out of here. Like the video, share the video, man. Comments below. Weather the storm, man. Stop enabling yourself. It's easy to point at other people. Say, man, you always helping me, you know. But people got to start looking at that person. Why do you keep letting people help you? You got to learn how to help yourself. All right? Weather the storm, man. Stop enabling yourself all the time. It's a lot of things you can just get through and coast through. Go under the radar through. You can beat it. You can survive it, man. Alright? It's your boy Suey, man. Mr. Sisterhood and all of that. I'm out of here. Peace.